do one more after this. I'm trying to see if I can get the energy to change up a little bit. I'm trying to get different readings, but I guess I'm following something. So let's see. Like always. Like always. Pathway. Somebody's following something. It's dealing with some type of course somebody has decided to take. What's going on with this pathway? Are you over here trying to figure out what course you're going to take to get to whatever this is that you're trying to get to? Somebody's like trying to make a blueprint of their next steps. Some of you guys is to a house, to some type of stability foundation. Somebody's trying to like plan out the next four years or the five years of their life. Somebody's thinking long term about expansion. Somebody's thinking about whatever. Somebody's thinking about it. Where they have gotten because of some type of pathway that they've been on. Is it working? Okay. They're thinking about if they should stay on this course or change it up. What's really going on though? No. cooperation cooperation instead of competition so someone is realizing that there is a lot of competition when it comes to a group dynamic on this path on this journey that they're on okay whatever path you're deciding to go down is a lot of competition okay put it like this a lot of competition competitors this person may have a lot of competitors this person may even have past lovers that they may have ch children with that are in competition with you whoever this is that's in competition with you whoever these the competitors are they should be working with you whether it's their ex-lover family whoever they should be working with you, but they're not. Y'all, I be seeing what's really going on. Man, I swear somebody's stalking the fuck out of me, bruh. One particular person. Anyway, I'm sorry, y'all. Maybe not, though. We got getting to know each other in chemistry. Then we got free yourself. So there's somebody that you need to free yourself from. And you know you need to free yourself from this person. It's because of your religious factors. Whatever it is, spirituality is a big factor and it's just not working. Alright? It's not working none whatsoever. And you deserve love. And there is somebody that's actually that's here and there's chemistry and they're trying to get to know you. But they're having a hard time because you're dealing with somebody that's... This is going back to that last read and I did. I did a read and I said this person is in denial about their feelings towards you because of your spirituality. They feel like you put a spell on them in order for them to feel the way that they feel about you. Not knowing that they just genuinely have feelings about you. They could even be in love with you, but they, they're so scared about your spirituality that they're like, it can't be real. It has to be some type of spell. And that's... What can you do with that? You can't do nothing with that person. There's somebody else that's genuine, that's caring, that's on the same level as you spiritually. They're not worried about none of that. They ain't worried about no spells. They ain't worried about no other BS. And they like you for who you are. They trust you. This other person does not trust you. And we got very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Again, it could be three people in this situation with these three people in here. You and two other people, or however it goes, but somebody needs to see whoever this other person is, they don't trust you. They have feelings for you, but they don't even trust those feelings towards you. They don't even know why they have those feelings for you. They're so in denial that they're going crazy now. Okay? And it's all because of your spirituality. <laughs> to put it like that. You can't do nothing with that. <laughs> Somebody else here, though, that that's who you're supposed to be with. This other person could talk crazy about you and what you do spiritually when your back is turned. You don't want that. You don't need that. That's not good for your soul. Period. Point blank. They're not good for you. They may feel good to you, but they ain't good for you. What's really going on? 
you and this other person can have like talks about a lot of different things you and this other person y'all cannot have talks about nothing because they're gonna think you're weird you're one of them they're like what the fuck okay ten of wands in reverse and this situation is becoming burdensome it's becoming stressful. It's too heavy. It's weighing down on somebody. Somebody's ready to release it. They know they gotta release it. You can't. You gotta cut them off so that you can heal and you continue to be patient with yourself. Meditate. Figure yourself out because it's like you're trying to get to know somebody. You're trying to open up to somebody that really don't desire to know the real you. They really don't want to know your the real you. I'm going to just put it like that. No, they don't. They're just all talk, no action. They're just talking to get something from you. They don't really give a fuck. Okay, about on that deeper level. They don't really care to know you on the deeper level. What's going on? They don't really care to have that deeper connection with you. It's very shallow. And you know it. It's like, do you want to continue to go down this pathway or what? Because Will of Fortune was in reverse, okay? And we also got this new beginning, but you don't seem happy or excited about it. And it could be because this person is not your usual type. You're used to picking people that don't like whatever. They don't like the real you. You have to hide yourself. You have to dumb yourself down. You can't be your true self with the type of person that you want. Somebody needs to realize that. Somebody needs to realize too. There's often some type of pregnancy or new beginning or this per the only card that is upright again through this whole deck is yeah, the Empress. This person takes away from your creativity, from your uniqueness, from your shine. From your confidence. Because you can't be your true self. What's this Ten of Wands in reverse? Oh, a page of cups in reverse, knight of cups in reverse, the fool, the emperor in reverse. So this person is abusing their power and their authority. They're jealous as fuck of you. And it's crazy because I was already feeling this with this page of cups in reverse. Some of you guys, they're having that baby talk with you, okay? And they're only doing it because they want to trap you. They want you to be one of their people. You need to let this type of energy go. That's that baby boy energy. I'm not ready for a commitment with you, but I want to give you a baby so that I can have some type of connection with you. Now, if this was like a billionaire or a millionaire, that might be different. But I don't get that energy in here. None whatsoever. And they're jealous of you. They don't even like what it is that you do. Spiritually. It's just... It's, they're not good for your soul. It may feel good, but it's not good for your soul. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm. The, the world in reverse in the devil. So they're trying to keep you from, they're trying to stop you from completing the cycle. This cycle should be coming to a completion. You should be detached from the devil, but the devil got you strong. It's stopping you from wrapping up a cycle or a phase in your life. Because this person that wants to have you on this tree, not only you, somebody else too. It's the temptations as well too. They're very tempting. I see that. I feel it. It feel real good. And the temptations, that's like eating a lot of sugar and candy. It tastes so fucking good. But with a bunch of cavities, with a bunch of teeth. You know what I'm saying? Be mindful of possessions, overindulging. What's this Ten of Wands in reverse? I didn't even get the call, child. Look at me. What's Ten of Wands in reverse? Ooh, Ten of Wands, upright and Knight of Pentacles in reverse. 
So somebody just somebody already know it's a lot of hard you're doing a whole lot of hard work by yourself and not getting you nowhere. It's not getting you nowhere. Whatever this is, whatever pathway you were going on, deciding to take, it's not getting you nowhere. There's a lot of jealousy, there's a lot of competitors, it's stressful, you're ready to give up. You don't see nothing coming up out of it no more. You don't see any inspiration in it no more. You just, it's, it's, it's nothing left in it for you. Okay. And then we got the moon in reverse and death in reverse. So there's clearly going to be some type of secrets that come out. And somebody's going to try to stop some type of ending or transformation. Somebody don't want this to end. But some secrets is about to come out regardless that's going to force this to come to some type of ending. All right, it's unstable. Four wands in reverse. This shit is just unstable. It could be dealing with a relationship, a partnership, a work environment. And then we got nine of pentacles in reverse. Eight of pentacles in reverse. The high priestess in reverse. The moon. Seven of So you see, you protected though. You all right. You're going to eventually get some help. So there's somebody from your past that yeah, they stop, they purposely put it, they're putting all the stress in the, putting all the stress on you. And it's all about to come out. Somebody could even be at a breaking point as well when it comes to a situation. With this ten of wands in reverse. These people ain't working with you. Seven of swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody's about to get caught and busted being sneaky and deceptive. Five of swords trying to blackmail you. Trying to, with this offer or this pregnancy, page of cups. Somebody being sneaky and deceptive. Trying to trap you. Pay attention to the road you're going down. When it comes to these people you're dealing with. Somebody dealing with somebody that's trying to trap them with a baby. And they don't, they don't give a fuck about you. Or there's some type of fishy ass offer. This king of pentacles, five of swords. They might have a lot of other options and a lot of other suitors. Don't. Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to tell you. It's something. Or there's some, some type of new beginning that's coming for you and they see it. This person likes to go after people. They have a type and their type is just like you. The go-getters, the empresses. The ones that probably entrepreneurs and get on their own because they come and they get a cut of these independent women. They get money from them. They make profits off of their women. And it could be in a good way, too. You feel me? Where they build you up and y'all working with one another. But I don't feel as if it's that way. And then they get possessive. I've seen it. And it comes in reverse. And somebody's also going to be devastated because you're not going to take them back. And you are going to get in reverse. I guess they thought they were going to do you how they do all these other women. And it's not going to work. They like to come in and take control of these people's businesses or lives, finances, however it resonates. They like to take control. But what's going on? It ain't working with you. It's not going to work. What's really going on? Oh, my goodness. For some of you guys. Anyway, I'm not going to say all that. What's going on, spirit? Spirits are always around. What the fuck does that work? I'm not playboy or play girl. I want to trust it. Judgment. Oh, see, you a spiritual person. What spirits are always around? Let me tell you something. I feel like this person is scared of you because whoever you are, you're very spiritual. You have some type of connection with the spiritual realm, and spirits let it be known. They let themselves be known and be present around you. So you always have some type of paranormal activity going on around you, and they don't like that. So it's like you can't just turn off this gift that you have, even if you think you can, even if they want you to. So regardless of the fact, it will never work because you always going to be somebody that has spirits around you and communicating with you and protecting you. That's the main thing. You are protected because they trying to fuck you over on the low. They want to do you in. Because it's what they're used to doing to all these females. Doing the men. But they can't do you in how they do the, these other women in. Whether it be spiritually, financially, mentally, emotionally. They can't do you like that because you're not a renegade. You understand what I'm saying? And your spirits let it be known you're not no renegade. You don't need no manager. You don't need a boss. You don't need whatever it is that they're trying to do to you. We got you. So you're always going to be protected. Spirit is always going to come through for you. So it's always going to be a battle and it's going to be a fight because they're never going to get their way with you. 
ever. You understand what I'm saying? They can't do nothing with that. I feel like you need to save this person by walking away. Use your judgment. They are playboy or playgirl. I wouldn't trust. The spirits are always going to be around you. You always going to be a spiritual person. So even if you was to stop doing whatever it is that you were doing spiritual and go over to do whatever they're doing spiritual, it's not going to change the fact that you have a spiritual gift and spirits communicate with you, whoever you are, especially for the spirits are always around you, especially with you being so protected the way that you are. It's just not going to work. It's not going to work. They're going to have they want to surrender or something. Look, we got manifesting. It's complicated and wonder I. But yet, this person is still trying to manifest you. So it's like at this point, they need to. They gonna have to change. I don't know what they gonna do. Erica Badu, you know, you're the type of person that make the person change their religion when they get with you. Period. Something. Then we got lack of support, lottery, and divine feminine. Divine feminine. So, you have a lack of support. They feel like they have a lack of support with you, but you don't even understand the situation. It's going to be bigger than what you expect. It's going to be an unexpected outcome. A large lot. It's going to be a very positive outcome. I don't know how this... Did somebody win the lotto as well, too? And somebody's, like, trying to pressure them to do all these crazy things or act a certain way or they feel like they know that there's some type of money that's coming to you in the future. I already said that though. They know it's something coming to you. They like to go after people that's about to have like some type of business popping, blooming, or financially they're doing great. They scout those type of people. Oh, this person is good at it too though. It's something that took with them that they always be around for my damn this person's got a settlement for a hundred thousand dollars. Damn this bitch just got a fifty thousand dollar check. This bitch just got a $25 bonus for her job. You get what I'm saying? Like, they're always around these type of male or females. But anyway, um, kids are little messengers. What is this? A magician. They trying to get you pregnant. Illegal dealings. This person is cricket. They like to use these women for money. They, they, they're, this person is very, I feel like this person got a lot of money off of women. We got to stop going through their phone. They could even be wiretapping you, tracking you, hacking you, stalking you because you're leveled up and ascended. And they know this is coming to you. We got put it on me, dinner date, movies, and then a fool. This person could have left you and now they're coming back around. Uh uh-uh. They want you to be their sacrifice. I'm trying to tell you no. Yeah, always check your marriage and they're gonna get very possessive if they're not already so, if you ain't already met back up with this person, do not. Because they're going to get very possessive and controlling as well, too. I did a read and I said it was about a somebody. <coughs> excuse me. There was a big purchase that somebody made. And ever since then, somebody felt like you started acting like you were too good for them. They're still jealous of you. Whoever you are. It could be of your car. It could be of your purse. It could be your phone. Whatever it is, they in the back of their head, they might act like they, they love you and love you, but they feel like you feel like you're better than them, and they want to get back at you for that. Okay, this is this male that I've been talking about that feel like women shouldn't have more money than males. So, be mindful of that. Alright? And pay attention. Because it's something, something coming for you. It's something coming for you. And it's some people over it's, it's strong with this male. Well, I'm going to say, they trying to make you be a renegade. But your spirit, whoever this is, your spirit, is, your spirit guides, your ancestors, is not about to let them. They're not about to let them. All right? And it's going to force you to really let go of them completely. Because they're going to get caught doing something. I don't know what this is they're going to get caught doing, but they're going to get caught. It's complicated. Okay? All right? I love you guys so much. Take For some of you guys, I ain't going to lie. They might even get caught trying to slip something off. Or it's something that they're going to say or do. You're going to realize, okay, you're just trying to trap me. You get it? All right, but anyway, I love you guys so much. Take care.